Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today for the unboxing of Dig Out, uh, Dig Your Way Out, the latest Kickstarter that I received. Now, Dig Your Way Out is published by Borderline Editions, is for roughly two to six players, takes about 45 minutes and is for ages 16 and up. And that's probably the oldest that I've ever seen on any game and I'm not sure why, maybe for the mature content. Um, or it might be scary. <laughs> Uh, I just I mean, look at that. This guy looks super menacing, and this is quite a quite the box design. Um, so let's have a quick look on the back. Uh, the game has been or is designed by David Samid and is illustrated by the Micho, and he's certainly very well known and uh, very well liked for some of his artwork. Um, and it's, I think it's coming through really well in this game specifically. So let's open this up. This is part, the one part that's the most frustrating of any unboxing ever is just getting that wrapping off and then getting the box open. The first thing that I think I noticed about this box was I thought, wow, this is actually a really small, small box, or maybe the right word is compact. Uh, certainly not the, the size that you would normally see with most of your other board games. So, okay, let's dig right in. Oh, no pun intended, dig right in. Um, Rule book, okay, with the, this seems to be the French side. I guess it's in all of the languages, so don't, don't get intimidated by the size of the rule book. I think it's in all of the languages. Um, yeah, this first part is in French. I'm going to skip through that. Let's find the English uh, section. Here we go. So, content. Um, certainly like the way the content is displayed. The board setup is explained really easily. Um, basic actions, how to play, the goals. Essentially in this game you are part of a prison crew and you're trying to escape. Uh, you can join gangs, like there's the crew gang, the cartel, the bikers, the bratava, uh, triad and the queers. Okay. Um, and you can extort people. You, I think, trade with cigarettes, which is an interesting concept in this game. Probably also why, and there are beatings. All right, that's probably why this game has a 16 plus age recommendation. Um, they also have some expansions, which are Michel and Michel, uh, and then a team mode for the players. And then we on, we're on to the German um, rulebook. So, okay. Those are the rules. Seems like it's actually pretty quick and easy to get through. Uh, one of the stretch goals was introducing Officer Buster, who is an extra character that patrols the, the whole board and can get you caught with, while you're trying to escape. So here are the expansion rules for him. Uh, let's have a look at the board. Okay. So I think one of the reasons why this was actually... Uh, possible to get this delivered is because I believe they did most of their production in France as opposed to um, as opposed to China and with all of the issues with the coronavirus breaking out um, I think that became probably one of their benefits uh, so as you can see on the board here you've got sections for each of your different gangs that you can join I'm not sure this is the full board I'll move it a little bit more. It seems like there's like dice play placement or dice actions that you can take and there are different parts. Seems like there's a solitary cell uh, down here and then the yard for exercise, the baseball court, basketball court, sorry, infirmary, mess hall, uh, lavatory restrooms and then bunk beds, so basically the sleeping area. Um, and then it seems like there are different actions you can take with weapons and like tools to dig your way out. Uh, let's see. So the back of the board looks exactly the same. I'm not sure. Maybe there is some variability there. Um, we'll probably get into that later. Okay, so let's move on from there. Love this. Okay, so they did standees, which I'm perfectly fine with. Not everything has to be a miniature. But I think these are amazing because of the art. Um, and I'll give you a better look there. Like this guy is an absolute brute. 
Uh, this lady looks like an absolute brute as well. And then everybody else, I mean, here's, she must be the mastermind of some kind of gang, right? Um, here are little cigarettes that you would essentially take as your, your money that you'd be trading. Um, I think this is when you get beat up, you lose teeth. And so you've got tokens to track how much, how many beatings you've taken. Um, all right. And then a whole bunch more characters. You've got a lot of different characters that you can play with. I think some of them fell out of that. Um, more cigarettes. Definitely want to have cigarettes in different denominations so you can easier track how many cigarettes you have. Uh, let's see here we have... Oh, uh, these were stretch goals as well. So they had, um, I think, like a Bernie uh, Madoff character that they almost did a ripoff of. Not sure if I should have used that name. Uh, <laughs> and then another uh, celebrity person uh, that had been jailed. So that's interesting. And there's Officer Buster. Okay. There was one of the standees that had dropped out. Oh, let's get that into focus. There we go. And another one. Really love the art on this. This was really super well done. Okay. Uh, a dice. Uh, nothing special there. Weapons and tools. Okay, so this deck seems to be implements that you can use to aid your escape. Let's get into this and see what they look like. Okay, a shiv. More shivs. Bunch of shivs. Apparently a lot of people might get shivved in this game. A lot. Okay, um... All right, an improvised, looks like a pickaxe. Bunch of those. I think they all have like different things that they can do. So this gives you two pickaxe abilities. This gives you three digging abilities. I'm assuming that these will help you get your way. Oh, a spoon. A spoon isn't very good for digging, I'm assuming, but there they are. And then these are the the gangs I think that you can belong to and how much they cost you and cigarettes and other, um, I guess, clothing I, I do articles that you can get. All right. So let's move on from that. It seems like this deck might be similar. It's just more of the same. But let's get this open. Oh. Okay. Off that goes. Okay, yep, more clothing. Chains. You have to have chains and rings in a gang and a Rolex. Okay, not sure how long that's going to last in jail. Ooh. Okay, looks dangerous. Straight razor. Scissors. Those are all weapons. Buckets. Laces. Okay, definitely maybe a little bit more dark on the, the content. And the theme of this game. Um, some magazines, a cell phone, okay. Definitely some contraband there and how much it's worth in, in cigarettes. Interesting, okay, these are blank cards. Not sure what they're for, okay. Let's move on from there. Last deck. Okay, these seem to be like specific action cards. So let's have a quick look here. I think this is how you might be joining a gang or certain things that you have to do too fast for you. This is my my turf. And these seem to all be related to a certain gang. Right, the cartel. Don't think about saying no to me. When you extort a pickaxe, okay. Huh. Okay, so these are things that you can probably play with other players. Here's some gang related cards, master key. So I guess they all have special abilities. Untouchable. Oh, these are cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, and these let you into certain areas so you can start digging your way out. Cool. All right. That gives you a sense for that. I think these are the this is the last part. This seems like it is actually the little player boards with the actions that they can take, so almost like a reference card. 
Um, interesting, these are pre-punched. It seems like there's one of these for each one of the little standees. Um, and that's interesting. I don't see a bottom for the standees, so I'm not sure really how they're going to standee. All right. Um, oh, and these are printed on both sides with, it seems like a male and a female. So you can choose which one you want to be. All right, these look like they're the bruisers in the, in the prison. Okay, I like the graphics. These are comical and sometimes a little bit scary. Oh, so I think they called him Ernest. He's a white collar criminal. Probably certainly not supposed to be in with hardened criminals, but there he is, and Martha is his, his alter ego side. Okay. All right, so that is everything that was in the box. Oh, I take that back. Standees are, so there's a little bit of an insert here, I guess, to keep everything a little bit more organized. And the standees were in this like very light color, so I couldn't see them against the white background, but everything's there. Um, I absolutely love the way this game looks. I think it's going to be a blast to play. Um, I can't wait to probably get playing with somebody like Vlad. All right, looks like he's going to be causing a lot of trouble. Um, maybe John or Luther. Like the characters just look amazing and I think this is probably a game where a lot of people can get into the theme of it and just really have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, I certainly did. This is really cool seeing everything kind of come to life from the Kickstarter. Um, if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving me a comment, um, liking or subscribing to my channel so that I can continue to make more. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.